So one of the welds you're going to do a lot of, whether it's stick, flux core, or MIG, are pre-qualified V-groove but with backing joints. So I'm going to show you how to prep these up. We've already learned how to run the line burner and put bevels on our plates. We have two beveled plates here, right? I'm going to show you how to prep this joint up because you're going to do a lot of these, okay? The finished weld is going to look like this, or the finished joint is going to look like this. And these are, for most purposes, how you're going to prep your plates up to do your bend tests, because you're all going to do those in this curriculum. So let's get started. The first thing we need to know is anytime we're going to test a weld, we want it to be as clean as possible. So what you notice is the edges of this hot rolled steel, they have mill scale on them. And that mill scale needs to be removed. We don't want that in our weld. So how we remove that is we have to have a hard grinding disc. So I'm going to give you a little bit of an example. Wire wheels do not remove mill scale. If I wire wheel this, I still have mill scale on the piece. But if I use a hard grinding disc, let me show you the difference. Remember, grinder safety. Got to keep two hands on the grinder. So we get our third hand out. It's called a clamp. That's what it looks like when the mill scale is removed. So I'm going to take just a second and I'm going to remove all the mill scale on these backing strip and I'm also going to remove the mill scale about a half inch or so on the edge of the weld. So give me just a second. safety glasses on right. Now we're going to bring these pieces in and I'm just going to do the edges of them about a half inch back or so. We just want that mill scale to be out of where we're going to weld. And if you notice I'm spinning the grinder off from the pieces like we talked about in an earlier video. We don't ever spin the edge, spin the grinding wheel into the edge. I'm spinning it off. Always use the third hand. Do not, I repeat, do not try to grind these off by holding the grinder. That's not a good way to do it. This piece can jump up, the grinder can catch. You need both hands on this grinder, okay? So here's what we've done. We've removed the mill scale on both edges. We've removed the mill scale on the backing strip and we are going to tack these things up like so. We're going to make the weld and then we're going to show you how to cut it apart. So there's several ways that you can tack these things up. You can get two plates that are nice and flat and flip these over. Your procedure will tell you how big the root opening, the gap in between the two plates are. But I'll tell you, I'll sneak it in there. It's a quarter of an inch. So how do we measure that? How do we measure that gap? The best way to measure the gap is a piece of quarter inch material. And we slide it right in between these two pieces. It's perfectly a quarter of an inch. We carefully remove it. We bring our backing strip in set it in place so 
So the joint is in the middle. We have six inch plates with an eight inch backing strip. These are called run on and run off tabs. Okay? I'm going to come in and tack it here. I'm going to tack it here. I'm going to tack it over here. And I'm going to tack it over here. And what we end up with is this piece right here. Quarter inch gap. We've got our tacks on the end. The backing strip is on. And now we are ready to weld. Whether it's stick, whether it's MIG, whether it's um, flux core, these are all prepped up the same way. Okay? So, we're going to get this thing welded up, and then I'm going to show you how to grind the weld off, cut the pieces up, and get them ready to bend.